Hi, I'm Saul Montiel. I'm a professional chef, and today I'm going to show you how to make the best chilaquiles. Spicy, lots of flavor that wakes you up and cures your hangover. This is chilaquiles uno and uno. The perfect chilaquiles to me, the sauce has to be a little bit spicy. If it's not spicy, it's not chilaquiles. Chile. Chilaquiles. The tortillas has to be soaked enough without being over soaked. Just a little bit of crunch and it has to be on point. This is the Mexican breakfast for champions. You don't need none of those peels to cure your hangover. You just need this. Who is ready to make some chilaquiles? Chilaquiles are corn tortilla chips, soaked and spicy salsa. I'm gonna do chilaquiles verdes, which are green chilaquiles and I'm gonna be using tomatillos. So for my tomatillos, I'm going to remove the husk. So how do you know you have a really good tomatillo? The firmness and the color. If it's too yellow, that means it's getting too ripe. So it has to be nice and green. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse because they're so sticky. Look how sticky they are. Now I'm gonna bring this to a boil, but before I do that, I need to add some onions, serrano, and garlic. For a pound of tomatillos, I'm gonna use half an onion. I cut it the same size as the tomatillos, so they cook almost at the same time. And now for the serrano, it's just gonna go right in there. I'm going to smash the garlic to bring the flavors of the garlic even brighter. Now it's time to learn some Spanish. Cebolla, chile, tomatillo, ajo. We need mas ajo. Epicures in Spanish coming up soon. So that's plenty of garlic. When it's boiling, I'm gonna lower the heat and simmer it for like, you know, eight to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna wait for the tomatillos to change the color to a little light brown. This is what we're looking for. Nice, light brownish, yellowish tomatillos. The skin is still nice, still whole. So do what I say. Now I'm going to remove this gently with the spider. If you don't have a spider, you can use tongs. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a whole cilantro with the stamps because the stamps has a lot of cilantro flavor. See when I'm squishing it, how much liquid came out? So that's why I do the vegetable first. If you need more liquid, you add it later. But if you add liquid now and you blend it and it's very watery, you're not listening. Always taste as you go. Ay, wey. This is ready. My tomatillos just look nice and smooth, just like it should be. Next step, Sofreir. We're going to cook some of these onions. I'm doing dice because I don't want to have big chunks of onions. The reason why I don't want to brown the onions because I want to keep it nice and white. That's why we go in low heat. I add a little bit of salt here for sure, and this will sweat the onions and help them cook it too. So I have the onions already cooked. Now I'm gonna add the sauce. And I'm gonna simmer this sauce. Now I'm gonna stir it. And I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon. Why I'm using chicken bouillon, not chicken stock, it's because I don't want this to be watery, but I want the chicken flavor. Half a cube for one pound of tomatillos. Okay, now we're gonna lower the heat. So the sauce cooks a little bit longer, so it's a little thicker. And also we get rid of some of the acidity from the tomatillos. I'm gonna let this cook for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna make some crispy tortilla chips. The perfect tortilla to use for chilaquiles is always gonna be corn because if you use flour, they will be saggy and gooey. Using a pre-made tortilla chips is a no-go. I think you should fry your own tortillas. So the size of cutting the tortillas is very important because that's gonna determine how long you're gonna fry them for. So we're gonna cut them in half, half a moon, and then we're gonna cut this in four. So it will be one, two, three. So for frying tortillas, I'm using neutral oil. Now, the, your oil has to be at least 350 or more. 375, you can nice and gold uh, tortillas. If you don't have a thermometer, you can use a chip. A lot of bubbles, it's really hot. Not enough bubbles, it's cold. So, this looking perfect. We want bubbles. We don't want to put a lot of tortillas in because the tortillas are cold. And by adding a lot of tortillas, you will make the oil cold. So it will take longer to fry. Always stir because you don't want the tortillas to get stick together. How do you know when they're done? Well, there's no bubbles. Right now, this is ready. They're nice and brown. Now, very important, you have to season as soon as they come out. Because that's when the salt gets stick to the chip. I'm gonna make another batch. Remember to stir, always stir. They're just making sure all the tortillas are cooking evenly. Take your time. The reason why I'm using a, a chip pan and a rack is because I don't want my chips to be oily. Salt. Very important, that's it. Our crispy tortilla chips are ready, now let's add the delicious tomatillo sauce. 
when mixing the sauce and the tortillas, you can do it in a bowl, but I like to use a pan because I feel like I have better control of things. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce here, and I'm gonna be mixing the sauce and the tortillas as we go. Because we don't wanna have soggy tortillas, but not too crispy tortillas. Now I'm gonna add more sauce, and now I'm going to wet them. The reason why I'm adding sauce as we go, because I want to control the sauce portion, because we don't want to be too wet. We don't want to be all about tortillas. It's kind of a balance of both. Again, you want to make sure every single tortilla chip is nice and wet. Okay, I think it's good. Now it's time to put on a plate, some queso, crema, onions, and egg. Delicious. So our chilaquiles, they look nice. They kind of have a little bit of a crunch, but not a lot. But not making nachos, making chilaquiles. Basically, this is like my uh, Mexican lasagna. Now, crema fresca. If you don't have crema fresca, use sour cream. Just add a little bit of milk and a little bit of lemon and salt. Now the crema, I'm gonna put it all over the chilaquiles, so to make sure every bite of chilaquiles have crema fresca. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some queso fresco. Queso fresco is a crumbly, salty cheese. I think we have plenty of queso. I'm gonna do some onions. And now I'm gonna add the egg, cause it's a breakfast thing. Now this is optional, right? Some people like to have chorizo. Some people like to add beans to it. You can add whatever you want. But this is how I do my chilaquiles. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of serrano. This is just to add a little bit more heat. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of cilantro leaves. The reason why I'm using leaves is because I don't want this to taste a lot like cilantro. And also already add cilantro into the sauce. So this is more like for garnish. And then you have my chilaquiles con salsa verde y huevo. Just by looking at it, it looks beautiful. I think it's already a winner. So now I'm gonna cut a little bit of chilaquiles. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado. I'm gonna break the egg. I want the egg yolk all over the place. And an extra serrano because I like spicy. Layers and layers and layers of pure love. Amor. Ready? Mmm. The tortilla, it's nice and soft without being saggy, with a little bit of crunch. The crema kind of cuts a little bit of a spiciness and balance everything out. And the onions, it's just like a, a pop-up in your mouth. And the egg, you, you can't go wrong with that. It just makes everything really good. Excuse me, I'm gonna take another bite. Mm hmm wow. This is how you make the best chilaquiles. Simple y delicioso. Two years ago when I was back home in Mexico, I overdrink and uh, my mom would make me this. This is like the best solution. Thank you, mom.